amazing even by what you see here on the call you know people of diverse backgrounds and kind of everywhere what have you been doing or would you want to do specifically you know to maybe help people right now dealing with covid social justice issues because you have that reach you have that platform yeah. and you're just genuinely a good dude like you know what what type of things could you do to try to help in those situations i mean for me you know with the with the covid 19 happening before any of this um I just tried to help any way I can. I tried to first and foremost control in my environment, you know, staying in the house, preaching that over and over, but also the the hospitals that, you know, I've been a part of. I went to college in, you know, the place that I grew up in. So there was like three or four hospitals where, you know, I tried to donate food. I tried to donate um, things that they needed a few times throughout this, you know, pandemic, just, you know, to show my, I guess show my my appreciation for you know the people that are on the front line and the people that are you know putting their lives on the line to help others like I can't even you know I can't even compare to that so I tried to help in any way I could with doing that and controlling what I can and with this you know social injustice and black lives matter and all those types of things I just want to bring attention to the situation um and like when, when I said before, controlling what I can control, I think the most important thing is voting, you know, putting the people in position to to make those to make those decisions that we need to, to for things to be somewhat equal. And I've never voted in my life. And, you know, I take a hit for that because I just haven't. But this year I'm voting for sure. And I'm going to like I told you, I'm going to control what I can control and I can I can control going out there and doing my research, studying the people that are gonna, gonna make the right decision moving forward. So that's what I'm doing. Um, you know, I went to a few protests, I went to a few rallies, um, I walked with the people and, you know, just to show my support. But on the back end, I'm doing something, not just only for, you know, myself, but I'm trying to, you know, make a change. And I think first and foremost is me going out there and voting and taking that as serious as it needs to be. It, it takes some real humility to kind of, you know, put yourself in that position and be vulnerable, let people know you didn't vote, but now you're going to go out there and make that change, brother. I, I really do appreciate that. And last one real quick, what's your thoughts on the bubble? You know what I mean? And, and, and all your brothers in the NBA going into that situation as well. Um, I think because I get it on both sides because, you know, when, when they said, when the NBA said we were going to go back and play, um, a lot of people was like, you know, it's the wrong time and things like that. But I think by playing and being in the NBA the last nine years, I know the NBA is going to bring as much attention as possible to the situation and the things that have gone on in this world each and every day, each and every platform they can. So I think on both sides of it, not playing and playing, I get why people will want to play. I get why players will want to play. I get why that means a lot to them. And I also get why get, I understand why some of the players, they feel like, you know, this isn't the right decision to play and are not going, which, you know, I'm not on a team right now, but I decided it wouldn't be smart for me to go out there and play. So I'll wait till next season. Um, I know the NBA will do something really good to bring awareness to the situation. So I think it's a win-win. Obviously it's going to be tough being in a bubble, being in one place, for three months when we've been in that for the last three or four months. Um, but I think, you know, obviously, and a lot of players want to get paid. A lot of players want to, you know, they provide for a lot of people, not just friends. I mean, not just family, but also friends in their life. And they, they want to get paid and you can't fault somebody that wants to go back to their job and get paid for what they do. So I see all sides of it. You know, I'm all for going back and playing. I'm all I get. I get that side as well to each his own. Um, so, you know, I think but I do think it's a win win. I think the NBA will do something really nice, really good each and every day to bring awareness to what's going on right now. And that's all you can ask for.